purple mountain majesty. Oh, and amber waves above. Oh, God. Oh. It's actually so small. Wait, what? It's tiny. It breaks. How eerie. Are you not ready? <laughs> Look at this freaking tree. It's creepy. And the fact that there's still flowers and no names on these graves. No. There's like not even a gate into it or anything. We'd have to go around the perimeter. The perimeter. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think when I say perimeter? Like what comes to your head? Do you really want to know? Don't say a does it? No, I was thinking clear the perimeter, like. <laughs> Look at the freaking barn owl, like the one we saw, Amanda. Oh. Before we get into today's video, we want to tell you guys about today's sponsor, Blue Land. I am so excited about this one. One of my New Year's resolutions this year was actually to be more eco-friendly. And I am so excited about this because cleaning products is one of the most wasteful things in our lives. All you have to do is fill your forever bottle with warm to hot water, drop one of the tablets into the water bottle, make sure the tablet fully dissolves before putting the nozzle back on. In minutes, you have your cleaning product with no shaking or stirring needed. The whole idea behind Blue Land is refill is the new recycle. And that's the part that sold me. A lot of plastic goes to waste after one use and ends up in the ocean. So that's always been one of my passions, reducing the amount of plastic that ends up there. And so when we found Blue Land, we knew it was a perfect fit. Their mission is super simple. They want to make being eco-friendly easy by bringing reusable packaging, refillable products, and all at an affordable price. They have products for all surfaces, glass, countertops, even hand soaps. So we highly recommend you guys check out Blue Land products. You can get 20% off your first Blue Land kit by clicking the link in our description. Tag us if you try them out. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, we're Mackie and Amanda. I'm Mackie. I'm Amanda. And, and we're, we're the Spooky, spooky Boos. Tonight, we're at a location we've been trying to get to for a while. Super historic. Dates back to the 1800s. We are at San Pasqual Battlegrounds. In 1846, during the Mexican-American War, it was fought through a couple different states. California was one of them. And this is where the bloodiest battle in the Mexican-American War took place in California. So we are standing in the valley. And it's actually insane being down here, just seeing everything around you. And then there's just a flat field no, in the middle of this beautiful valley. Because it was such an important war, they have all like these theories of how it happened. So the mountains that are literally right behind you guys, right in front of us right here, they think that like the Native Americans were up at the top uh -huh. and they came down this hill and they met in the middle and had the battle like right where we are That's basically. a gnarly hill to come down to. Because it was a battleground, um, other mediums have come here too, not the first one. And one of the largely reported things is spirits on horseback. Wow. So like kind of riding into battle, you yeah. know that residual energy and where we're parked right now is actually at one of the native american burial grounds from the war doesn't look like it was ever touched it's just crosses sticking out of the ground no names or anything obviously since the most bloody war took place right here this is just known to be one of the most haunted spots in all of san diego county because of how many people lost their lives here for this investigation we got some new equipment this might be my new favorite piece i'm not even gonna lie I, i'm obsessed with it so it's this little coffin type thing with a skull on it. You turn it on. Oh, I hated that. It's a new K2. It tells right here the temperature and then how strong the frequency that we're picking up is. The little bar will shoot up on there. We'll know when it starts spiking because it will do that beep. Oh. Yeah. And then our next piece is this handmade REM pod. Is it really? Uh-huh. But wait. You open There's more. The inner workings of it. And then we just have the little antenna slips in right there. It just plugs uh -oh. in to the end right there, pulls up, and then we have our REM pod. That's amazing. Right? The sun just went down. Should we get into investigating? Oh yeah. All right, let's do it. All right, well, we stepped out of the car and the first thing we hear is an owl. 
and not <laughs> right over there an owl so that's a great start we're just gonna make it to the beginning of the trail and start hiking up all right god does that mean we have to walk along the road right here um for a minute okay that's also part of the reason this place is so haunted is because this grade and road is so... I should tell you that after we yeah, leave. Yeah, you should. Okay, okay. Well, I'm gonna flash and fly. So people see me. We should just run. Okay, wait, wait for this car. You don't fall. I'm not gonna fall. <laughs> you don't fall. Okay. You don't fall down. Oh my gosh, I thought it was literally right here. Why do I do this? I don't know, we've got issues. <laughs> I'm literally just gonna turn on the K2 right now and get her going. What's the temperature? 65.3. Oh, nice. That's actually pretty cool, that 65.1. Okay, so this is a super weird walkway. Like just how it just rounds about and then we have to go all the way back there. That's the hike up there, you know? Oh, up there? That's, well, that's the building. That, uh, did you hear that? Yeah. That was weird. It's like dropping right in front of us. 63.6. Is that a picnic table in the middle of the parking lot? <laughs> Just a <Yep>. ton. <laughs> Sometimes they do um, historical reenactments of the oh, battles here. Yeah. Like they dress up and stuff. And I'm super curious, I'd like to ask when we get out here and stuff, if the spirits here see it, yeah. you know? And what they think of it. Yeah. Ticks are found in this area. What is it? Ticks. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Just right, just one more thing. Do you hear that? What, is it like humming? Oh. It was like that. <gasps> 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 I smashed my thumb so hard. <laughs> oh, no. You know like when your fingers are like super cold? Cold. And you've been just hitting it? Yes. Once, it's, it's sensitive. Oh, Trail closed beyond this point. Okay. Super. Wait, shine it to the left? Oh, that's where they do the reenactments. Oh, yeah. Okay, shine it that way. Yeah, I think towards the trail because that's where the oh, cannons. Bridge. Is... Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> On the bridge. What is this? I don't know. What the heck? This just dropped two degrees. Are you kidding? No. 59. Did you realize how quiet it just got? It really did. I'm gonna set the rem pod right here. What do you think? Full support, bro. Full support. Are you feeling anything? Yeah, I can't breathe at all. Really? Actually. And I know I'm not out of shape because I do stairs yeah. every single day. Yeah, I'm out of breath. Oh! Oh! Wait. I'd say it's just I can breathe again. <laughs> I just took no the deepest way. breath. Like, I bet you're gonna be able to hear it on camera. Wait. I'd say it's calibrating, but in the car when we had it on, it didn't do that. No, it did not. Okay, well, I guess let's just get right into it. All right. 58. 58. I just want to introduce myself. My name's Amanda. I grew up around this area, but I've never actually been here. I'm super into history. It's 2022 now. It's over a hundred <sighs> years after you fought a battle out here, but I'm coming out here and I'd like to introduce myself. I brought some devices. Guess I'm not here. Nope, it's not me. <laughs> I'm Mackie. <laughs> My hand feels so cold for some reason. Really? My face is like really cold. ice cold. 
I like so didn't even mean to cut you out. I feel like I've I've never done that before, and I'm trying <laughs> to think why. No. Wait, wait, shine the light over. Wait, wait. yeah, shine the light up there. I feel. Did like you I'm see that dot? Wait, are those eyes? <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, hold it there. Deer? It's a deer. Why is it not terrifying? I don't know. Why is it staring at us like that? Bro, I'm having PTSD right now. Oh god, there it goes. Go on, get. Oh my like god, bro, why is it? No, Amanda. Why did it just turn like that? Okay, you noticed that too, right? <laughs> yes, you did, you yes. Did, where it like, looked like it yes. turned this way, but then it like, its body was uh -huh. converted. It's dropped a whole nother degree. <sighs> my hand is really like freaking me out. Really? <laughs> it feels like, an, like a really weird sensation of like painfully cold. I don't know, it's really weird. It's freaking me out. Oh, I just like felt someone calling me in my pocket. What? 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 It just beeped. Was it my phone? It wasn't my phone. Oh, maybe. Oh, okay, okay. That was something stepping near me. Could you come back and step near this device one more time for us? Set it off. Come in. Maybe hold my hand. My hand just got so cold. See, it's like an icy cold it though. It just got so cold. My whole back did. We also have this other little device sitting on the ground right here that you may have set off earlier. If you go near it, it'll just light up and make some noise. So if any spirits are here with us right now, do you think you could put some energy into this See, box I'm on the ground? So sorry, do you hear a high pitched chirping? I do. But that's not a cricket, is it? I don't know. <laughs> Like, you're not hearing it constantly, are you? No, I hear it now. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna finish reading this. Okay. Um, the army sent from Santa Fe to occupy California was never met and defeated by the Mexicans at San Pasqual. The American forces were driven... I hear it. ...were driven upon a brute in the desert. Oh my gosh, Kit Carson. That's a park out here. Oh. Okay, both famous explorers of the West volunteered to get through the Mexican lines and get reinforcement from stock. Sweet. My hand is like hurting my arm. Really? Yes, like really bad. My right hand feels like totally. Which hand is it? My left. Interesting. It's, it's also my left. Doesn't say my right hand. Really? Feels totally fine, and it's my left that's holding this. No, it's like aching. Do you want me to hold the camera for a little while? No, it's okay. Is it's like, do you think that would help, or is it like? No, aching? I don't. It's like a really bad ache. I don't know. It feels like the entire thing's cramping really bad. You know when you like write with a pencil like too much, it just yeah. cramps up. It feels like that. You know what my hand feels like? What? Like tingling. Like really? so cold and painful. It feels like. Have you wait, 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 wait. Did you hear that? It sounded like someone was walking up right behind us. Before I was gonna say. Should turn the light over there? Okay, it's just the light. I thought it was another deer. When this light is off and I'm just looking at you yeah. with the camera, like really all I can see is your blonde hair <laughs> and the camera light. Like, and it's pitch black around all of us. Like we are just encompassed in darkness right now and it's really freaking me out. It's like, really scary. Cause there's no moon out no. tonight. Cause even the light on isn't like showing anything. I'm like, what the hell? Do you hear that? Yeah, I do. It like the hooing. It did. All right, um, well. Oh, the light just turned off. The light just turned off. I heard beeping too at the same time. It didn't beep or anything, no. it just. What the f It just turned off. That's actually terrifying because if they both turn off, we'll Look, literally have nothing. Two and a half hours left. No, okay, earlier it had over four hours when we were what in the, the car. Looking at it and I was like, 1%? And I'm like, oh no, that's what we have the brightness on. I'm stupid. And then I saw that it was four and a half no, hours. I'm literally taking my phone out to take a video of this because it tells you how much time is left on the light. All right, see, 2.6 hours left on this and it just died for no reason at all. I feel like when we walked up and I mean, I said it when we walked up, I feel like there's absolutely something like right here with us. And it was like at the statue where it got super hard to breathe. But, um, Right now it feels like they're still here, but they're kind of like on the outside. Like I feel like I'm in a bubble, literally like in a fish tank and I'm being watched by like the outside. That sounds so what weird to heck? even put into words. Yeah. But I would just feel like we are really being watched here by a lot. Almost like, you know how like people would be like stalking in war? Yes. That's what I feel like. Like I'm, oh my like, gosh. I'm just like, I'm just freaking waiting. <sighs> it's so creepy. Should we ask any of them to come up? 
Yeah, that's what I was gonna do. So I was gonna do. All right, yeah, I, I think you should just go for it. I want to talk to Beal and Carson. I guess this is your statue right here. You guys were explorers. That's kind of what Mackie and I are out here doing. If you're able to speak to Mackie or I, and did just, you hear that tripping again? Yeah, I did. Should we go deeper? Should you go deeper? I think let's go deeper. All right, we're gonna keep going. Pick up our little devices here. And if you want to come with us, we're just going to head on up. At any point, you can still grab this device. It just dropped to oh. the floor. You can grab this device in front of us. That was crazy how it went off right when we put it down, the REM pod. It was, and that was when like I felt the most Yeah. for sure. I don't know about you. This is actually kind of a crazy trip. I know. It looks like it just stops, Amanda. I know. I'm scared of ticks. I wish we knew how far up the I know. Is. I'm just gonna go like two more feet. What if we try by the cemetery? I'm done with that because there's definitely gonna be mountain lions. Okay. Right? Oh sh <laughs> It's so dark it's here. So dark. Did you hear that? Yeah, I did. Oh, yes. It's got so quiet again. I also think that, I, th I mean, I thought that when we came here, the auditorium where they do the live oh, yeah. reenactments. All right, let's stuff. go over there. <laughs> oh God, a bug just went in my face. <laughs> Knock? No, I didn't actually. Huh. Hello, is anyone here? It gets like so quiet, it almost hurts. Know, like, like out of nowhere. No, you know that like silent room or whatever? Where yes. Where like people can only last uh -huh. so long? That's what it feels like. Out it's here. really weird. But why don't we hear animals and stuff? I don't know. Is that peanut butter? And tuna? Ew, oh my god. Something? That's concerning. Don't feed the wildlife, kids. Nope. Did you hear that, y'all? So I'm like, ah. Oh, God. Hurry, set it down, hurry. Something on the stage. I was waiting for it to see if yeah, it didn't. It didn't do it. The silence, I just knew you were waiting. Oh. <laughs> okay, the way the can of tuna is not cracked. Okay, this is concerning, Amanda. All right, any spirits that may be here? I'm so sorry, I just have to say it because I'll kick myself if I want, but I just absolutely heard something over here. It sounded like it was almost like rolling or tapping. I heard like a little like... I couldn't even reenact it. Yeah, something like that. Like that's probably the closest I could get to. Okay, wait, there's definitely something here with us. Yeah. To my right. Over here. No, 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 I'm so sorry. Over here. Over here next to you? Yeah. But this sounds so odd because it's not like what I would expect to be here. It definitely feels like a male spirit. Oh, yes, I wouldn't be. I was going to say it feels like a lot younger. Oh. But not like, like 12 or anything. Like I would say like 16, 17. Oh, okay. What is it? I, Do you see them? Or? You know what? The first thing that I was thinking, and this is so funny also, because I never try and get a name because that's the worst thing yeah. for me. I, I never get names pretty much unless they can straight out tell me. Yeah. And I, the first thing I thought when I was like, all right, there's this 17, 16 year old boy here with us. What's your name? Which I never ask. Yeah. And the first thing that popped into my head was like, oh, like, don't even try. Like, you're not even going to get this one. So that kind of makes me wonder if maybe this was someone even if it's like Spanish yeah. or something like I wouldn't stand a chance oh that makes sense and I, I just feel like 16 17 18 like that's not at all too young like to have fought in a war mm -mm. especially back in back the then. 1800s yeah. 1846 oh, I keep hearing noises everywhere I do too yeah. to whoever the spirit is that Amanda's connecting with would you Would you be able to go up to one of our devices we have placed right here on the table? Oh, 
that's exactly where I was. Okay, Did I was. You see someone over there? Yes, that's exactly where I was seeing someone. I literally couldn't even finish my sentence. Like one right second. where the light pointed. Yeah, one second. He's definitely Spanish. Really? Yeah. Um. And I feel like he's a little bit nervous for sure. Again, I guess I want to introduce myself. I'm Amanda. I'm Mackie. Um, I grew up around here. Yeah. Mackie did not. <laughs> but I've never been out here, neither has Mackie. So if you'd be willing to maybe give us a knock, throw something, set off one of these devices here, yell. We're not gonna hurt you. We just wanna talk to you and hang out. It's 2020. Did you hear that? That sounded like it was behind me. Are you really? Yes, it's just so dark out here. It's so dark. You literally, like, I'm so shocked that you saw that deer because I can't see anything. I told you it's the night vision with the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> like, I could get absolutely wrecked right now by a mountain lion. Wouldn't even see it coming. Oh we should have brought a spirit box or something. But we can definitely do that at the cemetery. Totally not a big deal. Do you that? hear? It sounds like a horn blowing. Yeah. Oh. It's still going. Oh. They threw something. They did. That's not like a freaking walking throne. I just got the coldest breeze on my right I'm, like, side, bro. Really freaked out, actually. I feel like we're surrounded. I do too. It's making me nervous. I told you that in the beginning. I, I feel like we're surrounded. Shall we make our exit? Yeah, yeah, we okay. should. We really should. Like, this is weird. I still hear that. Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> oh, man, what was that? I have no idea. It was so close. It was so close. <laughs> oh, the endurance training right now. I'm just so grateful. Oh, <laughs> I hope you've been surfing, bro. <laughs> look, 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 look. Oh, shit. Look. The camera just went black. What? Yeah. We did anyone see a spike? Look, it's next to the light. It's not doing anything. It's going so blurry on it. Oh my God, did you I, hear that? Yeah. <laughs> a speed walk. <laughs> oh, I just pulled something in my foot. I hope you can hear it on the camera too, because I did like the. Bee -bee -bee. I really think I might have just fractured my foot. No. It's starting to get so heavy. It did. As soon as that person, like I saw them, you know. Yeah. What they look like to you? I actually could like see them fairly well, really? um, but like because it was so dark and like when I shined the light like over to it, both when I had the camera and when I had that light, yeah. so I had a good light too. I couldn't even make them out because they were like almost hiding, you know. It was almost like they were camouflaged, oh. which is why I was like, I feel like we're being watched. Like he's yeah. a little like weary around us. But then towards the end, I did not feel welcome, and I felt like yeah. the vibe really changed, and I misread the situation. That he was not nervous. He was just like, it was almost anticipation, you know? Yes. Like he was waiting. And then I felt like all of a sudden it was almost like the horn blew and like it was yes. like they called on an attack. Oh, and like, I hate saying it out loud. Like I'm laughing at myself <laughs> right now. But just like, tell me that's not what happened, no, bro. No, that's literally what happened. We heard that horn that literally sounded like a battle For horn. so long and it went on for so long. It's like what you picture like people holding like that. That's super long, like recola. Yeah, that's exactly what it sounded like. And then the vibe just switched. It did. Oh, that was so scary. The fact that we were up there and we just made it down so oh, fast. That's actually crazy how far, I don't remember walking up that far. Like the oh, amount of time it took us to get down here. It felt like we made it up. And also, by the way, it's dropped 20 degrees since we initially went up there. Okay, I'm stopping this. Okay, well, after running out of there and being <sighs> startled like that, we decided to wrap up the video and get out of there. We heard that horn blow and we heard that rock get thrown and all of a sudden it felt like there was a lot of energies there instead of just us and that guy. I realized that like I had completely read the situation wrong and he was not like nervous. It was yeah. more like like angst. Like he was like getting ready. I feel like and it sounds so crazy saying it out loud, but it was just like 
like that battle horn, you know, is literally the only thing I can compare it to. Oh my god. It's just like crazy because when we heard the horn, I that didn't even go through my head. I'm like, what the f is this horn right now? And then after you said that, I'm like, you're right, it's a battle horn. It is. And just compared to like even when the first things I said when we got in there was I feel like I'm in a fishbowl mm -hmm. and like I'm the one being watched. Like I'm the fish. You did. Where normally I it's the opposite where I feel like I'm on the outside and I get to watch like other people yeah. like I get to watch the other spirits and I felt like it was completely opposite That's tonight crazy. and then I just felt like we got ambushed no. it sounds so weird to say because that's literally what happened in the valley but all of a sudden it was just like way too overwhelming i agree way too overwhelming so. well if you guys liked this video i mean i'm open to going back i am too i mean it was a shorter video but two girls and one, one, one. <laughs> oh, it's someone's car alarm oh god all right well that's our cue if you like this video give it a big thumbs up um if you hit three thousand likes we'll come back and we'll hike up to the rest of the monuments and night. maybe even go down on the actual battlefield that's what we need to do do an investigation out there so let us know but other than that we hope you guys enjoyed and we'll catch you on the next one peace, peace. Okay, well, clearly we're not at San Pasqual Battlefield still. We're somewhere very different. But after we left San Pasqual Battlegrounds, something kind of insane happened. We went straight back to my place, and then while we were doing an investigation there, that new equipment that we had brought to San Pasqual Battlegrounds, and then brought over to the cemetery after, mm -hmm. um, wasn't in my car. No, it was nowhere to be found. We checked everywhere humanly possible. I vividly remember, you can literally see in the video, we walk down the hill and go straight to my mom's car because she picked us up there so we wouldn't have to walk on the side of the road there. So we walk straight into her car. There's nowhere for us to set it down or anything. We get in her car, we sit there for like, she drives us back, we sit there for like 10 minutes. I'm sitting in the car opening and closing the REM pod as we're talking, just like messing with it. I vividly remember that. And then we drive the 200 yards right over to the cemetery and we're probably at the cemetery for 30 minutes. Yeah, but Where we have that weird experience <laughs> that we didn't even talk about it, did we? And we were gonna do some filming there, but then we just decided not to. So we're standing outside the car and we're just looking up like, wow, but we're, stars. we're talking about, um, should we like drop it a little yeah, bit, a little yeah, hint? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so Maggie's super into UFOs and you've kind of messed me up talking uh -huh, about it. Uh -huh. So now I'm kind of into UFOs, but I've never had an experience until that night at Santa's School mm -hmm. Grounds. But right before that, I just so happened to meet this girl. She's, I don't want to say like an expert on UFOs, because yeah. that's not the case, but like just the way that she talks about them, like she's had some pretty, like, she's pretty knowledgeable about it. So she's like, do you want to have an, an experience with UFOs? And of course I was like, maybe? <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, yeah, you know, kind of. And she has a place that she could take us, all this kind of stuff, so that might be coming out. But there's just all this talk about UFOs recently. And that's what we were talking about in the car when I was saying they were opening and closing the REM pod. That's all we were talking about the whole time we were in the car. Because your mom had asked me about this girl. Yeah. So we drive over to the cemetery and we're like, should we even film here? Like, it's all, we can't get into it, you know, it's, we could just stand on the outside of the fence. And while we're standing there, we're like, <laughs> how does it even come up? No, we were just looking up at the stars. We we're like, oh my gosh, look how insane the stars are because... Where I live, you can't see the stars like that. So me and my mom were like, oh my God, like look at them. We're all standing there staring at it. Then we start to see just something moving in the sky. And it's like a very slow shooting star. Yeah. Like it literally looks exactly like a star. It's out the same distance. It looks like a star. It does. Because there's all this talk like, could it be a plane? And we're like, it's not blinking. Mm -mm. And it's way too high up to be a plane. It's literally with the stars like you it was like a plane couldn't be up there if you didn't happen to be looking at that one because we were looking at all the mm -hmm. constellations and stuff mm -hmm. and we were just like a little like big dipper and then we're like looking at the little dipper yeah. and it was by the little yeah, dipper that's what it was. was where it had yes. started and we followed it completely across like the sky until it was out of sight yeah and it was just a steady moving no blinking lights it literally if you go outside and it's no time look at a star it looked identical to that same height up in the sky but just moving across the entire length of the sky. It was not like super weird, but just unexplainable. Yeah, like, like not we, scary or anything. I would <laughs> just have no idea what it was. Like honestly, not a single clue what it was. But that is not even what this is about. It gets weirder. That's just like, 
kind of were thinking, oh, could this have caught like that? Yeah, yeah. Have caused what happened. Uh huh. So fast forward, Mackie just gets back in the car. Mm -hmm. I get back in the car and we drive to my house. So I was gonna drive up to Amanda lives like thirty right. minutes from there, and I was gonna drive up with my mom because she's scared of the windy roads at night and she'd never driven it before, so she didn't want to drive it alone. So I was going with her. So as I was getting out of your car, just in the same parking lot, we haven't left this parking lot where all this is happening. I get out of your car and I'm looking for the stuff and I'd say, okay, I'll just like get the stuff oh, out yeah. of the car when we get to your house. So at that point I couldn't find it. And we just left the equipment back in my car, right? Yeah, okay. everything was there from the time we were staying in my mom's car in the parking lot to the time we were in your car in the parking lot. And then I backed out first because mm -hmm. you were following me. Yes. So I backed out and then we caravaned the yeah. entire way up to my place pretty mm -hmm. much. Well, we get to Amanda's house and I, we go to get the stuff out of her car and it's nowhere to be found. And at this point, my mom was just, some, she was just way far away because Amanda ended up driving me the rest of the way. And I'm so, like, oh shoot, it must be in her car. I'm it, like, yeah. well, okay, well, we just won't use it this time. Yeah. It'll, it'll just be in her car when I get back. Flash forward to 1 a.m. later, maybe a little bit later, yeah. and you text me. I, I had just gotten in bed. I had just mm -hmm. dropped you back off to your mom's, mm -hmm. and you text me that the equipment's not in your mom's car either. Yeah. And that it has like it has to be under my seat. Yeah. And I'm like, can you just go check your car? Because I was literally sitting there, my mom would try to say something to me, I'm like, wait, shh, shh, I'm trying to concentrate and remember precisely, like, where the last time I had it was. I'm like, it was in her car when we were talking about the UFOs, like, I know it was. So, I feel so bad now, because I, I didn't even realize, it's, I'm like, I just, like, I just got in bed, I'm, like, undressed, can, yeah. can I check in the morning? And you say, of course, because mm -hmm. that's who you are. And then, <laughs> instead of asking me to walk the 15 feet out to my car to see if it's in there, you drive the extra hour down to San Francisco <laughs> Valley at oh, 1.30 in the morning and look for the equipment. Yeah. Because we were leaving it and we live like an hour and a half from there and so we were like if Amanda wakes up in the morning it's not there I'm just gonna like think about this for the rest of my life if that if it was still in San Pasquale Valley because where else could it have gone like literally, literally just nowhere. vanished in the thin yes. out of my car yes and so we make the trek down there and as we're like going down the valley there's like this tiny little bridge that like you wouldn't even know it's a bridge unless you look to your left or right and you can see the railing of the bridge so we get to that part and all of a sudden this like thick oh I forgot yeah, about this yeah. This, keep in mind, this is 1.30 in the morning in a valley with no street lights. And we get on this little bridge and out of nowhere, this oval, like, five foot tall shape, like, thick fog mist comes out directly in front of our car. And we're like, we didn't freak out because like, it's not a person that we're hitting. So we just drive through it. And so we drove through this little just patch of mist and I don't even know where it came from it literally just came off the side of the bridge there was no mist you can see in the video not a cloud in the sky that night so we were just like what the fuck is that there was not a cloud in the sky because we were looking at the sky yes. talking about the stars like, it was literally picture perfect yes and so me and my mom were just like what was that and we didn't even talk about it because we're like we can't talk about it right now it's we're all we're all alone in this valley that's supposed to be haunted we can't talk about it so we keep driving, we go to the cemetery parking lot, which I'm like, okay, it has to be there. It has to be in the cemetery parking lot. We go there, nowhere in sight. So we're like, where the hell is it? And I started to feel really bad because I'm like, I just made her drive all the way out here and it's realistically like in her car somewhere or your car. And so I'm like, oh. So we go out of the cemetery and pull back onto the road right there and start driving and we see something just... In case you can't tell, we're we're staying in a haunted hotel. We're not gonna say which one it is, but that'll be next week's video. We see this little thing off to the side of the road. It's actually <laughs> we saw it where we pulled the car off the gate right there where it says San Pasqual, that trail we walked up. There's a little pull-off right there in front of the gate. And so we see something off this off the road in that little pull-out, and I'm like, we both go that's the equipment. Oh, it's just like you like caught the reflection of it? Well, as we started to drive down the road as if we were going home, I was just like looking and we both just see like these black boxes on the ground right there. We're like, 
if that's the equipment we're gonna freak out and we drove past it because we didn't have enough time to like stop so we make a u-turn go back again and as we were passing the second time we're like that's the stuff and so we still weren't 100 percent sure so we turn around again and we pull up to it and sure enough they're both just sitting on the ground at the entrance of the Santa Pass Squall Trail right there in a spot where it isn't physically possible for me or anyone to set it there because the car would have run over them because I didn't know that yes because well first of all we came running down the hill say, opened her car doors hopped in and no, I was no, no. playing with there the was, there was no time to set anything down no. even like the car was unlocked I had the camera like we literally just hopped right in the yeah. car yeah and there was like nothing that where they were sitting is where my mom's car was parked so they weren't exposed like I would have had to get on the ground and like go like that and push them underneath and the weirdest part is this whole entire time I was trying to think of where it was I could not <laughs> I couldn't remember for the life of me where the last part I had them was like I remember opening and closing it in my mom's car but I don't remember setting it down in her car I don't remember don't remember like holding them in my hand after that point it's just so weird it's like I blocked out if they were anywhere out of the car and we had left them in the valley it would have been at the cemetery and that's only if you had taken them out of my car and played with them while we were watching mm -hmm. this thing going across the sky and, which I don't remember seeing in your no, hands I don't either and that's what I was thinking I'm like did I set it on someone's car like I really don't know like that'd be the other thing if I like set it down on someone's car and they were like the only place I thought it could be would be in the parking lot on the ground if I set it on someone's car but no this was like you guys saw how far we had to run to get to that entrance so yeah. how did it if it was on someone's car how did it stay on it for that length and happen to fall off of the road instead of back like it fell I know. to the side and under like yeah, I know. We were you. If I sat on your car, I would have seen it when you backed out. And yeah, and you were driving in front of us. I would have noticed it, and you would have noticed it sitting on your hood if it was on the hood. I would have. If it was on my mom's hood, I would have been looking at it. Her car is tall. I would have had to literally reach up and place them on top of the roof, which I wouldn't have done. So it's just a really weird thing. Yeah, it's kind of just like it's not so much scary as yeah. it is just unexplainable. Yeah, it's just weird. I don't know. So we thought we'd, uh, I don't know, add it in. Yeah. Yeah, like, let us know what you guys think happened, because the thing is, is I just know for 100% sure that we had it in the car. We did, like, 100%. Let us know what you guys think.